have this multiplex for a 220 20 amp plug. I'm connecting to a 220 20 amp receptacle. So first thing you want to do is make sure your wire is nice and uniform. The first one you're going to connect is the green, ground, yellow and green. The second one you're going to connect is the black. Once you have it wired, you're ready to connect it to your outlet. I have a switch connected with my outlet. So when I flip the power on, it should power on. So when it's on, the display's on, and the back fans are on. And since to weld we're going to be using mode 2, we're going to connect the ground clamp again. And the ground clamp goes here. So once you have the ground clamp in there, you're set to fill your torch. So filling your torch for the welding torch, we're going to be using 50% alcohol you can find at any pharmacy. It says 50%, which is already pre-mixed since we weld with 50% using 50% alcohol. So from here, I don't have to dilute it. If it would have been 90%, I would have to dilute it 40% to make it into the 50%. But I have 50% here, so I'm going to use it straight from the bottom. So again, using our multiply syringe, which comes with our multiply, three ounce fill up. We're gonna take off the filling cap, off the torch, and fill it using the syringe until alcohol comes out of the nozzle. So once it comes out of the nozzle, it's indicating it's full. So you put your filler cap back on, make sure it's nice and tight. And you want to set your start button at an eighth of an inch. Again, if I turn it all the way clockwise, it goes all the way in. So turning, turning it counterclockwise, I'm tightening it to get it to my one eighth of an inch free movement which is right there. 
So once we got our free movement down, we're ready to start the torch. So first thing I'm gonna do is press on. Within five seconds, I'm gonna turn on the torch using the start button. And this should happen. So again, you wanna let your torch warm up. It's gonna turn off a couple times. We're going to go ahead and turn on our low 2 because that's what we're going to use to weld. So using the up button on the low 2, turning on low 2. Now I want to set, because I'm welding on this metal, this thickness, a quarter inch, I'm going to want to set my load 1 to level 3 so it blows less. And again, my, my settings, I want to have them at anywhere from 180 to 190. So, so when you're going to weld, you want to make sure that the torch comes to 2 or 3 centimeters away from your base plate, which is going to cause it to strike an arc. So this is what that looks like. So now I just pack my workpiece to the metal that I'm going to weld. So as you can see again, the arc activates when coming to like 2 or 3 centimeters away from the plate. And that's what I'm going to use to weld. So, Without using filler rod is what we call fusion welding, which is what I just did there. I fusion packed the base now. So now I'm going to be using filler rod to fill this screen in. So my temperature is a little cold, so I have to raise the voltage up. Again. See, it made a nice bead. And if, for instance, you make a bead and it's not like you want it, you can actually go back without using filler rod, fusion welding, and reform the bead. So, so now you can see that the beat is even smoother now. That was with filler rod. Now we're going to use no filler rod to fusion weld the other side.
but you can see it produced nice seasons.